Hello, so when I do these vlogs on a Saturday afternoon, I usually like to get to the ground about one o'clock so I can do a bit of filming, chat, and get familiarized with the place. But today, you can see I'm a bit earlier because Kettering Town have kindly invited me to their club, 1872 Hospitality, before their game against Colville Town. So um, we're gonna be sat down eating at 12.30, so I better get a move on. Hi, <laughs> I'm Malcolm Lure, Kettering Town kit man. And Mel is going to show us uh, behind the keyhole for the uh, home team dressing room, which I've just gone past. Hi guys. Yeah, good luck today, fellas. Yeah, there we go. So I'm joined in a pre-match uh, chat with uh, Kettering Town Manager Richard Lavery. Now, Richard. Um, I was vlogging the game last week where you lost 4 0 to Royston. I read your programme notes that you were quite scathing of the team. So, what are you expecting from them today? I don't really want to talk to you today because obviously last time we got beat 4 0 and I said we'd yeah, be yeah. in the game. But it was probably more, since I come, it was probably my worst game, like that Royston game. Yeah. Uh, we didn't deserve anything out of the game. We were, we were poor and we deserved to lose. So, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping for better today. Yeah, well, like we said uh, last week's pre match interview, um, we were talking about that you, you was brought in to get the team to survive, or which you've, you've done. So, looking forward to the next season. I know there's still two games to play but uh, what are you looking for next season are you going to make any changes yeah well like you, yeah like you said i was brought in to keep a win in relegation back when i come in and we're on, we're on a great run of six games unbeaten yeah. conceding one goal so i've done my job um i've always had like one or two eyes on next year anyway yeah so yeah i'll have a look up to get this this game out of the way and then i'll speak to the lads and uh, i will be bringing a, a, quite a lot of new faces in next season okay well i don't want to smoke uh, i don't want to blow smoke at your bum mate but uh, i've been speaking to a lot of care in town fans today and they're delighted uh, to have you as manager so uh, thanks for talking to us mate no, uh, you hopefully that. i'll have a chat with you after the game <laughs> yeah. with a win with three points yeah okay <laughs> thanks mate <laughs> So I'm fully stuffed after eating all that food. Thank you, Ketter in town, for organising that. That was wonderful, much appreciated. Anyway, I'm going to the Colville fans to try and get some uh, pre-match score predictions from them. 2-0 Colville. 2-1 Colville. 3-2 Colville. And now Ketter in town's fans' predictions. 3-0 to Ketter in today. 4-1 to Ketter in. 2-1 Kettering. Kettering, 3-1. Kettering, we're working to another park this afternoon. He's producing something from the Sedgwick. Hey! Kettering Town kicking off from right to left. Score predictions. I'm going with a narrow 1 0 win for the home side. And this is what Mike reckons. Taking it wide. Oh, he's hit the post. Attack it. Oh, oh, oh.
Good block. Down the line. Straight the keeper. Half time, one nil to the home side. Decent half of football. Chances at both ends. Expect some more good stuff in the second half. That is not. For 315 pounds, 01424. <laughs> So I didn't get a half-time reaction until now, but this is Paul. He's been a fan of Kettering since 1985. Uh, Paul, what do you reckon your team's first half performance? And don't a hold much, back. A much, much, much better improvement. Yeah. Yeah. And closing the ball down and working off each other. Let's hope we can keep it up second half. Was you here on Tuesday? Yes. What was that like? Absolute collapse second half. Yeah. Once the keeper got sent off, I moved Fozzie into the goalkeeper. Yeah. And then the two midfields just let the other team run past them. Okay. Didn't work at all. Yeah, very disappointing late defeat, wasn't it? So yeah. um, the question is, are you going to hold on today for this half-time lead? God knows. <laughs> you sound like a long-suffering fan. Anyway, thank you, Paul. That's all right, mate. No problem. Nineteen eighty-five is Charles play. I've got someone that can easily beat that. Pete, how long have you been a fan of Kettering for? Uh, the first game I saw was Colville. Colville in, in nineteen forty-seven, and we won four-one. Okay. And if you want to check that, you can check it with Paul. Paul, who's the historian. Okay. So you'll settle for a four-one today, mate. Yes, I would. Yes. Okay. So will I, mate. Yeah. Oh, he's in. If you can get it. Keeper did well. Oof. Oh, oh, short, short. That's a yellow. Good save. Good shot, good save. Just out of sending off, I think there's a handball and then um, giving the refs a few verbals. Number eight, he's not happy. Colville captain. Oh, bloody hell, that was close. This is going into Marshall. <laughs> Still alive. Referee's going to be a minimum of six minutes at a time. And six minutes at a time. Bruno to finish it off. 
The scoreline prediction stays intact. Speaking to injury time. Oh, it's a free kick. Is there going to be late drama? Six minutes of injury time. This could be the last chance. That's Josh, uh, he's 11 today, getting his uh, programme signed. Joined by uh, match winning goal scorer Michael. Michael, you're 18. Uh, just got the winning goal for the match. And also man of the match as well. Uh, so, what's your plans for an exciting Saturday night then? Yeah, to be fair, we've got a Wolves tonight after this, celebrating the win after last game of the season. So, hopefully, we do well, hopefully, come for the next season. So. Thank you for the fans and the sport. Thank you. Everyone. And don't be on Coca Cola tonight, right? <laughs> nah, You've still got one more league game <laughs> yep, plus yep, a cup final, right? Yep, yeah, to win the cup as well, lift the trophy for the end of the season. Okay, mate. Yeah. Well, we'll play today. Congratulations, Cheers. buddy. Thank Cheers. You. Right, Richard. Uh, last thing you said to me, the pre match interview, was you would talk to me uh, three points and a win. So you've got it. What yeah. do you think? I'll blame you for that, don't I? You can blame me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm no longer the jinx. So no, last week. no, you got yeah. involved last week and we got beat 4 0. Yeah. You've come today and took three points, so yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, what did you see differently today? What was you most pleased with? Uh, well, just uh, realistically, but I couldn't have got any worse at Royston. I think that was my first, since I've come out from the worst game yeah. uh, there. I think I told you before the game. Uh, today, at home, we're good at home. Yeah, and yeah. The fans are, they come out in numbers and I think there's nearly 800 here today. All oh, right. That, yeah, that helps us. Um, I thought we played okay. I didn't think we played great. It wasn't a great game. Yeah. It was a typical end of season game, oh, okay. nothing, nothing to play for, but at the end of the day, you still want three points. Yeah. Did you do anything tactically with the team once uh, Colville went down to 10 men? Did you decide to put men behind the ball or keep players upfield, you know, hoping to get a breakaway second? No, not, not really. We, we, we kept the same formation. Um, you tend to, when a, a man gets sent off, you tend to take uh, 10 yards back, take yeah. a step back, and we did that today, but we went the storm last 10 minutes and uh, we've seen it through. Yeah. And finally, uh, just to, uh, yeah, just to off the sort of like mark question, is like, when you're when you're watching the match on the sideline, is there uh, do you often get the similar same player that you're irritated in week in week out, but they give you that extra bit of magic? Oh yeah, you see it, didn't you? But that's probably <laughs> be, yeah, you probably buy what you say there because. But if they did that every week, they probably wouldn't be playing here. They'd probably be playing higher, wouldn't they? So yeah, you, yeah. Well, I was got, talking to, to I was talking to a couple of fans about a couple of your players particularly that they're, they're in a lower level than probably what they should be. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I want to thank you for your time and congratulations on your no win. No problem. I'll um, we'll see you next year. And apparently, I'm in. For because you won. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. you've got right. that right next year. Top man. Nice Cheers, mate. You take care. Cheers. So I've been allowed in this very posh boardroom to do my um, end of vlog summary. So I think I'll choose that chair. So onto the game itself. Um, a really enjoyable um, chances at both ends, but I think Colville can count themselves a little unlucky not to get at least a point out in the game. But Kettering took their chance and goals win game, so well done to Kettering. That's the treatment by everyone here today. Absolutely brilliant. I've absolutely loved my day. Uh, nothing has been um, off limits for me, so I feel like I've had the run of the place, which is amazing, and the supporters I spoke to are really, really friendly and passionate about their club too. Uh, I think this club has got aspirations to be bigger and better, and I don't see why under the right structure and management that they shouldn't um, achieve them goals. Um, anyway, I'm going to shoot off now, uh, but thanks for watching. I don't know where I'm going to be next week's vlog, but I hope you watch that one as well. So until then, ta -da.